Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss the most frequently asked questions and their answers of a civil engineering interview. Question 1. Name the methods of demolition for a structure. Answer. There are mainly three ways of demolition of a construction, hydro demolition, pressure bursting and dismantling. Question 2. Generally, how much length of riser and tread is provided in the staircase? Answer. Staircase riser is generally kept 150 mm to 200 mm and the tread is kept 250 mm to 300 mm. Question 3. What do you understand by built-up area and super built-up area? Answer. The built-up area consists of the carpet area and space occupied by walls, pillars and ducts. In most cases, the built-up area is considered as 10% more of the carpet area. The super built-up area includes the built-up area and any areas that are used by building amenities such as life passages, lobby, stairs, gym, clubhouse, etc. Question 4. What is a crank length in the slab? Answer. The crank length in a slab is 0.42 d here. d is effective depth of slab. Question 5. In a multi-story building, what is the standard height of each floor? Answer. The standard height of each floor of the multi-story building is 3 meters or 10 feet. Question 6. What should be the standard slope of a staircase? Answer. According to IS 456, the slope or pitch of the stair should be between 25 degrees to 40 degrees. Question 7. Which is stronger? Solid steel rod or hollow steel pipe? Answer. As we take them based on weight, steel pipe is stronger in bending and is less likely to buckle in axial compression. Question 8. For a construction, what do you understand by the term fatigue? Name some possible structures that may be subjected to fatigue. Answer. Fatigue is a process of gradual damage to a structure that occurs when subjected to cyclic loading, that is, repetitive loading and unloading process. Following are some example of structures that may be subjected to fatigue, heavily loaded bridges, aircrafts, concrete reservoirs, trains etc. Question 9. Why do you think a building collapses? Answer. There may be several reasons for building collapse. For example, passage of time, weak foundations, natural calamities like earthquakes, hurricanes, etc. Other reasons such as bombing or war destruction are also responsible for building collapse. Question 10. What are some common types of roofs used in construction? Answer. The most common types of roofs used in house construction are hip roof, gable roof, flat roof, shed roof, gumbel roof, mansard roof, folded plate roof, a frame roof, sawtooth roof, etc. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet.